Next news is out of the Middle East. The Arab world in seven charts. Are Arabs turning their back on religion? According to the largest and most in-depth survey undertaken in the Middle East and North Africa, Arabs are increasingly saying that they are no longer religious. The finding is one of a number on how Arabs feel about a wide range of issues, from women's rights to migration to sexuality. Uh, more than 25,000 people were interviewed for the survey for BBC News Arabic by the uh, Arab Barometer Research Network. Ten countries in the Palestinian territories between late 2018 and spring 2019. Since 2013, the number of people across the region identifying as not religious has risen from 8% to 13%. The rise is the greatest number in under 30s among who 18% identify as not religious, according to the research. So this, this report has made a lot of news. Like this is not one of those just, this is BBC covering it. This is a, this is a study that has... Um, a lot of people are taking notice, a lot of Arabs, I even saw some, because I follow a lot of Islamic sources as well, I saw a lot of them responding to this, like, because we've seen other sources saying, like, oh, atheism is rising in the Arab world, and a lot of our, our, us atheists noticed that and celebrated this, but this report has made so much uh, noise right now that a lot of um, Muslims and Islamic sources are noticing it and are trying to attack it as well, right? Um, the, interest, the interesting thing is, I think it's a very good study, but um, the problem is that these is, you know, whenever people want to attack a study, um, I notice what they do. Uh, they actually go to the study itself because studies usually have the section where it shows you the weaknesses of its own study, right? Like it shows, tells you where could it be wrong, why could it be, what is the limitations of the study, uh, why some parts the, the researchers themselves could be skeptical about uh, and the people the people that want to attack it they just go to that part themselves and be like oh look this is why the study is bad the stuff that the researchers themselves like it, the, every every good research has that part right the part that shows you the limitation of the study and these people go there they know that's there and they just dig that up and they come make videos about it. I saw like some people had like some short videos. Oh, a recent Western uh, Western study is trying to uh, cr cause division among Muslims, and they came out with the study. But let us tell you something about the study, and they don't tell you that you know. Yeah, that was the stuff that you're telling against us against the study. That's in the study. That's in the limitation part of the study, and they tell you as if like they discovered something like that. Uh, that is so. They say like uh, they mentioned the limitations of the study and the weaknesses of the study, and so and they some of them say like oh the re even the researchers admit that blah blah blah. Well, yeah, every study has that section. That's a that's that's how you that's a good thing about studies that tells you like these are the reason why you might want to be skeptical about our results. Okay. Uh, another thing that they mention is the margin of error. Like oh the the jump from six percent to eighteen percent, but. Which is only, you know, uh, let me see, oh, uh, they mentioned that it's only, I don't remember what the number was, but uh, th what, what was the non-religious before and after was, but they say it was, it was only a 5% increase. Only a 5% increase. Do you know how significant a 5% 5% increase in lack of in non-religious that's huge right that is huge like, that is huge and they're like oh but they also mentioned that this is a, the margin of error is this much like yeah every study has a margin of error like what the hell are you talking about do you want the scientists to say like it's exactly this amount so that's another thing they pick up and now, by the way let me actually show you this the the part of the gra uh, study that is about non-religious uh here let me bring this up okay so they the 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 people that are attacking the study they're like oh this is meant to cause this study is meant to cause division among uh, religious people right but this study was about many things this was just one section of it right this the non-religious section is only like they 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 ask a whole bunch of other things. Another thing that they try to point to to say that the study is wrong is like, oh, what they don't tell you is that the the results are actually very different in different countries. They're not all the same. Oh, really? The study don't say say that here. The study does say that. It's right in the study. 
okay that the results have been different in different countries it's right here like they show you the different results in different countries i don't understand what that what uh, anyways uh another thing is saying oh they didn't they didn't uh do the study in every arab country like saudi arabia was not included yeah and the study says that they didn't have access to every country again the study says that again they, they're trying to you know instead of actually acknowledging that non-religion is rising they're just really trying they and this is a good thing because they're there's you know the fact that they this is making a noise and they're trying desperately trying to attack it to me it shows that non-religion is becoming a major threat in the arab world right i mean they used to ignore atheism because we weren't even showing up on their radar right but now when they when they were they're trying to like when saudi arabia makes atheism um a a, a, a terrorist uh, offense not just a crime a ter terrorist offense when uh, when egypt is trying to make uh, atheism a crime where more and more um arab countries are coming with specific uh, responses to atheism to me it shows that atheism is really rising because they are seeing it as a threat right by the way the link to this is in the description if you guys want to check it or you could just search for bbc uh the arab world um uh, is ter is turning its back on religion it's like how much progress we're making right isn't this awesome it is awesome it's turning its back on religion i mean this is some good news finally because we're losing here's the thing but don't be content with this because there, let me tell you exactly what we're winning and what we're losing okay we're losing in politics we're winning in demographics okay we're winning in demographics as in atheism is is on the rise we are more and more people are abandoning religion but we're losing every almost everywhere when it comes to the influence of religion okay in israel in indonesia in malaysia in pakistan in india in poland right in the United States, religion is becoming more influential and it's governing uh, our lives more than before, even though we're winning in demographics. Why? Because we don't organize, okay? Because we don't get together and try to get shit done because a lot of you idiots tell me that, hey, if we get together and try to do stuff, then we're becoming too much like a religion. What great job! Now you're giving the power of community and organizing to the religion and you're washing your hands off of it and you're wondering why is it that the religion is becoming controlling everything? Because they know how to get shit done, right? Because they organize, they're clever in politics. They're like, oh, we don't want to get involved with politics. We'll just give them all the politics then. And when you're wondering why abortion is becoming illegal again or why India is becoming more Hindu extremist again or why Poland is arresting people because they... Um, insulted Mother Mary because you because a lot of you atheists are being idiots and think that we can't can't get together and do shit because it's because only religious people can do that apparently because if we provide if we create communities oh now we look too much like a religion so you are deciding that religions have a monopoly over getting shit done over get, creating communities over working together really you think only, you have to be religious to pro, to create a community? And this is why we we say like atheist republic is now a political movement, and this is why we're telling you that you know we need to get political. We need to be active. We need to we need to provide communities. You don't like atheist republic as a community? Go join another community. But do create atheist communities. Create a voice. Create a counterattack to these influences we're winning the demo you know we are growing demographically but even in arab countries where atheism is on the rise anti-atheist religion is also on the, on the rise religious people are becoming in israel most people in israel are secular are not orthodox religious not jobs in israel but look orthodox jewish people are taking over their politics why because they're clever they, they, the uh, Muslims are clever. The Christians are clever. The Jews are clever. The Hindus are clever. They know how to play politics, and they will take over your lives, even if you have all the demographics in your favor. You have to, you have to learn how to do these things. You can't just let them.
you can't just give up on politics and community and all of this stuff because like you uh, it reminds you of religion if we say like hey religious people don't have a monopoly over over morality we can't make them pretend like they own morality well why are you letting them pretend like they own communities if we're like oh if we if we if we try to provide a community we, or try to organize with a religion like it, by that standards my study group in college was also a religion it's such a stupid argument I never understood that nobody has ever been able to explain that to me why they think that is too much like a religion okay demographic All I said, okay you are awesome for everything that you just said and I want to take that piece out and post that video like everywhere because it is so it is so frustrating and everything that we do everything Nobody wants to, to get involved. Everyone says, oh, look at you. You're more like a church. We're trying to do a protest to save a man in Iran. Look at you guys unifying, uh, getting money. You're a church. And it's it's frustrating. So I love everything you just said. I was almost in tears and I'm stealing this clip. Yeah. Okay. Thank you. <laughs> uh, yeah. Anyways, even guys, a even if you don't like Atheist Republic, it's fine. There's many others. But don't let them win. They're winning. I promise you, they're winning. They're winning everywhere. Okay, they're winning because go. Don't if you don't want to donate to Aces Republic, we're we're doing sh a shit ton right now. Okay, we're becoming a political organization. We're getting shit done. But if you don't like what we do, donate to Freedom from Religion Foundation. Donate to American Atheists. Right. Donate to some. You know w these these. You have no idea how much resources these Muslim communities have. Right? They have oil money behind them, what they're doing, okay? They know they're playing the social media game. They know what they're doing. You don't understand the resources the Christian communities have. You've seen the churches they built. We are we are winning the demographic game with so much so little resources. Imagine what we could do. Like people are running away from Iran and they're going to uh, you know, to to Greece, and they they're pretending to be Christian because the churches are there for them. They're hiring lawyers because they know if they're Christian, there was going to be somebody to help the refugees. You know, the atheist refugees when they show up in other countries, they have nothing. They have nobody. There's nobody there waiting from the other side. We have atheist refugees in Germany starting. They have zero donations. You go donate to atheist refugees in Germany. They're helping the ex-Muslims. So that they don't have to go pretend to be Christians, so for, because the Christians are there for their for their crew. They're waiting for them to somebody say, well, "I'm Christian." The Muslims are attacking me. You know how many churches are supporting them because they have the resources. We have nothing. I like, oh, if we donate to you, you're like a church now. Well, we want to be like a church because we need resources. They are winning the war. Okay, they're winning the ideological war. This is the thing that they know how to play. We want to be if if being if by if being like a church, do you mean by being for a being there for atheists when they need us? Being for people being for atheists when they're attacked, being where for atheists when they're under under threat and they're being discriminated against then yeah we want to do that because the christians and the muslims and the jews and the hindus they got that right they're there for each other when somebody is attacking them us atheists we're not there for each other we're not there for each other we want to be there for each other Atheists are under attack in many places. If they were Christians, their voices would be heard. If they were Jews, their voices would be heard. If they were Muslims, their voices would be heard. But they are atheists, and not many seem to be listening. Let's make it difficult for them to ignore us. We have built a global community, and now we are tearing down geographic, cultural, and language barriers so we can find each other and support each other. In the last decade, we have built the largest atheist community in the world. Now we are doing the same in other languages. With your help, we have started Atheist Republic in Persian and Arabic. انضميت مؤخرا لأسرة Atheist Republic وحيصير عندي بودكاست باللغة العربية. As we grow, we can dedicate more time, staff, and resources to start doing the same in Spanish, Portuguese, Malay, Bengali, Urdu, 
Hindi and other languages. We are providing community, support, informative content, and amplifying the voices of those who need protection, especially in countries where people feel isolated simply for their lack of belief. We want to be there for them, and we are only getting started. Help us get there. Check in the description for ways you can support our projects.